It's pretty obvious that one key quality or trait of highly successful individuals is their ability to focus. So in this video, I'm gonna look at how we can improve focus leveraging a powerful nootropic known as phenylparacetam. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, I'm the founder of Ergogenic Health, and my mission is to bring you the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So please like this video, hit subscribe, and please take a moment if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, I'd be happy to respond to them. Today, let's take a look at the benefits of phenylparacetam but before we dive deep, I want to look at some of the optimal brain function prerequisites that are required before we dive deep into any nootropic. So the first one is that we need to ensure that our diet is optimized. We wanna make sure that we have no nutrient deficiencies in our diet. That will affect all systems in the body, not just brain function, but ensuring that we have adequate amounts of various vitamins and minerals is essential to make sure that these nootropics actually work. The next one we have is stress management practices. So incorporating at least one to two stress relieving activities per week is a good place to start. Number three, we have sleep optimization. I've done a range of videos talking about the benefits of sleep and how we can improve sleep. I've done some crazy cool Instagram posts talking about how we can improve sleep using various foods. Number four, we have reduced toxicity. So we want to reduce the body's burden by heavy metals and toxins. Number five, we have optimized gut health. As we know, the gut is our second brain. And then number six, we have movement and or exercise. So these are the top six optimal brain function prerequisites that need to be you know, accounted for and considered when trying to improve focus. So let's take a look at now the nootropic in the spotlight. Today, we're gonna to be looking at phenylparacetam. So phenylparacetam will be explored in terms of how it works, some of the benefits, and also dosages to improve focus. Phenylparacetam is a powerful racetam nootropic developed in Russia for use by cosmonauts on long space missions. It's a powerful stimulant-based nootropic that can improve focus, mood, and motivation. Phenylparacetam is definitely known as a psychostimulant, which may be due to its chemical resemblance to phenethylamine, substances like Adderall. The extent of phenylparacetam's energizing effect on humans has not been studied, but animal testing confirms that it does increase locomotor activity. So locomotor activity is a measure of the stimulant capacity of certain drugs, and phenylparacetam does appear to help with improving energy and also arousal. So that can be useful for some people who have a poor ability to focus. A 2015 patent application for penalparacetam's use as a sleep disorder treatment says that tests on rats indicated that the compound's ability to combat sleepiness and improve motivation is stronger than that of Ritalin and amphetamine. So methylphenidate and amphetamines. Many users report that Phenylparacetam stimulant effects are similar to those of modafinil, decreasing fatigue and improving productivity and social fluency. Other users say that its effects are similar to dextroamphetamine. Let's take a look at one particular Reddit survey that looked at the degree of effect from low doses of phenylparacetam. And what they noted was that one of the key attributes or key characteristics that were favorable by phenylparacetam were its ability to improve focus, motivation, and energy. So phenylparacetam appears to tick many of the boxes associated with, you know, the reason why people can't focus. And the other point that I want to address is that phenylparacetam does also appear to mediate or remedy a lot of the sedative qualities of certain drugs. This particular study looks at how phenylparacetam reverses the depressant effects of the benzodiazepine diazepam 
increasing operant behavior, preventing retrograde amnesia, and also possesses anticonvulsant-like properties. So most people will already know what diazepam is or um, Valium and benzodiazepine drugs, but basically these medications are used to alleviate anxiety and help people with sleep. And phenylparacetam appears to reverse the depressant effects of these drugs. Let's take a look at the next study that looks at how phenylparacetam works. The study was titled Neuroprotective and Anti-Inflammatory Activity of the DAT Inhibitor, which is the dopamine transporter inhibitor. Are phenylparacetam in experimental models of inflammation in male mice. Although r phenylparacetam is slightly different to phenylparacetam, what people have noted with phenylparacetam based on even other studies is that it does appear to inhibit the dopamine or bind to the dopamine transporter. And by doing this, it actually increases the total extracellular dopamine levels. It appears to also mimic some of the effects of other stimulants like cocaine in that department by acting as a DAT inhibitor. The other key point about phenylparacetam, looking at this particular study, the effects of scopolamine, nootropic drug phenyl, phenotropal, which is phen, uh, phenylparacetam, on rat brain neurotransmitter receptors during testing of the conditioned passive avoidance task. What they noted was that a single administration of phenylparacetam appeared to increase the density of dopamine D2 and D3 receptors by 29% and 62%, which is really incredible for those that have some degree of dopamine receptor downregulation. So looking at the dosage for phenylparacetam, a typical phenylparacetam dose ranges from 100 to 250 milligrams per dose taken with meals up to three times a day. It is not recommended to exceed the maximum dosage of 750 milligrams. For new users, it is advised to start at the lower end of the dosage range as it can be very stimulating. The other point to note is that many users claim that phenylparacetam builds tolerance rapidly. So the best way to combat this is to use phenylparacetam sparingly, perhaps when you have a mega study session ahead or you've got a task that you've been putting off for a while and you just want to sit down for six hours straight and work on it. And then the other point to note is that you should consider using a choline source with phenylparacetam, such as CDP choline or alpha GPC. If you're looking to purchase phenylparacetam, I'll leave a link down below. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video, please share it around and do me a favor and check out my website. I have a range of phenomenal resources where you can dive deep and improve your overall physiology. So thank you for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.